Oh, hey, little beard, it's your boy, Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help you improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Yes, as you can see from the title, it is that time of year again as we are back with the top five best fragrance releases of 2021 so far. In this video, we're specifically concentrating on the designer fragrances and you know, as you know, when I do these lists, man, I just go through some of those fragrances that really stood out to me and I'll bring you a niche version of that as well. To make this particular list, the fragrance had to come out in 2021. I had to have it in 2021 and um, I also had to enjoy that fragrance. So I narrowed it down to five that are getting my attention right now and I'll share with you which five fragrances those are. The first fragrance on our list today is probably one that you know is going to be on today's list, especially if you've been around on this channel. And that fragrance comes from the house of Azaro, and this is Azaro's The Most Wanted. To me, this is probably the best, if one of the best, uh, of the Azaro Wanted flankers, man. This fragrance really just does a lot of things well, whether it's the presentation in this map black bottle or the way this thing smells i think you were in for a treat the most wanted is this refined attractive fragrance that's really made for those men out there who want to be the most desired hence the name the most wanted this fragrance is said to be for the man who is ready to take on the day or night and have endless attraction if you feel up for the task then this is a fragrance that you should try listen man uh this was like love at first sniff for me this is one of the best uh for sure obviously that's why it's on today's list the zorro the most wanted puny sprayer but it is what it is as we go through this list you'll probably notice this fragrance list kind of fits my fragrance profile of things that i like as it should this next fragrance up is one that is said to be vibrant addictive and this one is from the house of ysl and this one is y la parfum all right so to me this is um a super super enjoyable fragrance okay more addictive than some of the others within the lineup and this one is really for that date night situation if you ask me uh listen man they have a long line of fragrances there the original was a banger the edp was a banger or fresh was a banger while live is nice and then you have this one here um which really does stand out while parfum intense woody vibrant bold addicting all of those things really do summarize what this fragrance uh, smells like what you get with it and some of the characteristics that come along with rocking a fragrance like this does it gonna compliments yes is this fragrance um super different no i mean obviously it's a flanker so there's uh, many other fragrances within this lineup that does smell like it but this fragrance is a nice work of art if you will from a fragrance perspective so one of those fragrances that look good in the presentation also smells good on skin and on clothing and it does have some good performance along with it to boot so there you have it why la parfum and this next fragrance almost didn't make the list simply because it has a long name this fragrance is really different than a lot of the other fragrances within this series this one is a flanker i guess you could call it and this fragrance is valentino womo yellow dream cologne okay this is what you get here as you know valentino womo series is really centered around uh sophistication it's centered around elegance it's centered around um oriental sense but they changed that all right they changed that when they released born in roma and this one born in roma yellow dreams i didn't give you the full name the first go around i kind of shortened it but um this one is good okay this one is probably better than the original born in roma but um not as great as some of the others that they have released in the past but with that said i think that this one gives them this entry into maybe a younger age group when i think of what the original fragrance does and some of those other flankers they probably cater to someone who is 30 plus or maybe you know 25 etc um if you're looking to get 
get into a younger market, so you're 18, you know, 15, 16 in school, this is a fragrance that could work great for you. I think this is a good smelling fragrance. Um, is it super, super different? No, it smells similar to other things that have been on the market, but you really can't go wrong when you do that, right? You got a familiar fragrance that's there, you introduce something that's different, then you're likely to kind of pigtail onto that as well. And I think that this fragrance does work. So Valentino Womo, Born in Roma, Yellow Dreams. Now I have four reviews of all the fragrances that I've mentioned so far on the list today. And this next one is no different. I believe the review will be up on this before I release this video. So um, I think we're good to go. This fragrance comes from Victor and Rolf. And this one is Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Infrared. All right. I am just really, really, really enjoying what Victor Roth has done with all of their fragrances within this Spice Bomb lineup, all right? And this one is really no different. You get some of those natural qualities that you could think of in the original. This one on first spray kind of reminds you of the original more so than any of the others. If I had to think of this one as a perfect placing, I would say this goes in between the EDT and um, Extreme, all right? This one is centered perfectly in the middle between those two fragrances. If those two fragrances got together, did their thing, you would get this one here. All in all, I think they added a nice bit of spice to this. Not as much as they broadcast, but I think this one is a super solid scent all in all. This fragrance is uh, stand out for me for 2021 so far, and it could be that I'm partial to Victor and Roth and what the Spice Bomb lineup has done, or it could be it's just that good. I'll leave it up to you to decide. Be sure to check them out. Victor and Roth Spice Bomb Infrared is on the list today. And the final fragrance in our code today happens to come from Armani. And this fragrance is Armani Code Auto Parfum Pour Ohm. Okay, this one is a 2021 release and this was another fragrance that I smelled on first spray and I'm like, yep, bag it up. Just throw it in the bag. <laughs> All right. Yeah, for sure. This fragrance had to go with me, man. Um, what they do well when it comes down to this cold series is really make fragrances that are sensual, sexy, seductive, alluring, attractive, all of those things right here within this bottle. So if you're looking for a fragrance that has a slightly powdery feel to it, clean, slightly spicy, it's warm, it had that addictive quality to it. Uh, this is one of those fragrances that you could rock for sure. All right, I feel confident wearing this one on a date night. I would feel confident wearing this one um, in a situation where you're looking to garner some attention. Do a couple more sprays of this one and I think you'll be good to go. This one also feels in a position where you could have it and still feel uh, masculine and manly with this fragrance, but it's also soft enough where uh, a woman around you is not going to feel like you are uh, taking over her nostrils by spraying this scent here. I think they did a really good job here, man. Um, I'm really like a lot of what they do here, and you know this one is really no different. Armani Code. Art of Parfum Pour Ohm 2021 release. So those are five fragrances from the designer side that I think are standouts so far this year. There were a lot of releases, okay? Um, some that I decided to pass on completely and I'm thinking about just going back to pick them up just so I can come talk to you about them and uh, give you my thoughts and opinions on those. Like I said, man, I'm trying to um, expand this here and not just tell you about the fragrances I like, but it's hard for me to buy the fragrances that I don't like, all right? I'm just telling you that um, for sure. So that's all I have for you guys and girls today. Give me your top five designer fragrances down below. Listen, I would love to know if I see some that I don't have, I will grab them. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. B. Hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the guy damn bell.